Kia ora koutou. This is the first differentiation question that I'm doing from this year's Level 3 differentiation paper. Um, I think it's the easiest of the excellence questions, and I want to get this done before I go off to school. So here it is. Um, it's the one about the power line hanging between two poles. Now, in the exam, there was a beautiful picture over here of a power line, but because of copyright reasons, I've taken that out. You kind of hopefully know what two poles and a power line look like. So we've got the equation of a curve that models the shape of that power line can be found by solving this DE, and we have to use differentiation to verify that this function satisfies the above differential equation. So if you're in my class, if you remember when we were teaching um, differential equations, there was a funny little bit in delta that has got verifying differential equations, and we talked about how that was actually a differentiation skill and not an integration skill. So you don't need to do any integration stuff here, no separating the variables or any of that. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it's really an algebra question once you've done some very um, kind of merit level differentiation. We're going to start with this function, and we're going to find dy by dx, and then we're going to find the second derivative as well, we're going to manip manipulate those and show that when we get a times the second derivative, that ends up being the same as this thing on this side. Um, it's really important to go quite slowly with this. It's a, it's a show that question, a verify question. So we'll start off with y is equal to this. And I think it's fine if you're confident to work with this constant sitting outside here. But um, for many of you, it's probably easier if you expand it first. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And we get this. So a over 2, e to the negative x over a. Remember that a is a constant, x is our variable. So first differentiating to get dy by dx, I'm going to have a over 2 times 1 over a, e to the x over a, plus a over 2 times negative 1 over a, e to the negative x over a. If you're watching this sometime in 2024 and you've, you had to think about that step, you need to do some more work on differentiating exponential functions. What I'm using in here is um, the, ch the chain rule on this, right? Because e to the x differentiates to give me e to the x, so all I have to think about is the derivative of the inside function here with the chain rule. Right, so we're going to clean that up a bit. And we get one half e to the x over a plus, or no, sorry, not plus, minus one half e to the negative x over a. Now I'm going to differentiate that again, and um, then I've got my two building blocks in place to build up to show that that differential equation is satisfied. So the second derivative will be one half times one over a e to the net x over a minus one half times negative one over a e to the negative x over a. That gives me one over two a e to the x over a plus one over two a e to the power of negative x over a. And we can write that as this, one over two a into e to the x over a plus e to the negative x over a. So let's just park that for now. I might call that equation one. And now we're going to go back to the question and we're going to slowly build our way up on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So let's start with the left hand side. What's a times the second derivative? That's just going to be one over two. Okay, or if you wanted to, you could write it like that and then show that you get one half. And so that's my left hand side. Now let's now work with the right hand side. Um, this is what we're aiming for. We're going to try and get the right hand side into that form. So dy by dx squared is equal to one half e to the x on a minus e to the next over a squared, which gives me one quarter. Now I'm going to expand this out. Um, I think it's fine if you did this in your head, but again, because some of you watching won't be that confident with expanding when I've got exponentials, I'm going to go quite slowly. So we get one quarter. Now I've got 
this times this, which gives me e to the x over a, e to the x over a, minus this middle term, times 2. And then plus e to the negative x over a, e to the ne negative x over a. Now, as I said, I don't think you need to do it in that much detail, even though it's a show that question. I think it would be fine if you um, went to here. So this is going to be, we're going to add the powers here. So we get 2x over a minus, that's just 1, right? This bit here is e to the 0. So minus 2 plus e to the negative 2x over a. Just get rid of that messy bit in there. Okay, so where we're trying to get to, remember, is that we've got this. So we've squared it now. We've still got to add one, and then we've got to add, we've got to square root it. So as usual, when you see a square root sign with um, algebra, you should be thinking, how can I force this back to have a square underneath the square root? Um, and that's going to happen soon. So we've got one. So we've got one plus dy by dx squared. It's going to be one plus a quarter. And I'm going to leave the e bits like that. And here I've got minus two quarters. So I'll whack that on the end. And that because I can see that I'm going to want to combine the one with whatever constant I've got. Now that gives me one quarter of e to the 2x over a plus e to the negative 2x over a. 1 minus 2 quarters leaves me with positive 2 quarters. So we're going to have a plus 2 in here now, right? And we can see that this factorizes Okay, now the reason that I can see that that factorizes is there's, there's two reasons why I can see that. The first is that it feels a heck of a lot like what happened here when we expanded that square, only we had a minus sign. But the second thing is I'm looking for this to end up being a perfect square because something nice has got to happen to this expression. So I think maybe that's one of the places people found this question a little bit hard. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any, any of your papers yet. Um, but the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to square root that. And so the square root of that is going to be 1 half e to the x over a plus e to the negative x over a. And if you go back to where we were up here, that's exactly where we wanted to get to, right? So now all I have to do to finish off, right, we've ended up down to 1 half of that. And so that is equal to um, a times d squared y by dx squared. Sorry, which is equal to the left-hand side as required. So there you go. Now, that video was probably a little bit too slow for quite a few of you, but that's partly because I think um, this is a really nice question for when you're trying to practice harder inter um, exponential differentiation. So this is a video that we'll be using um, in level three classes next year. Just the key things to note in there again are that the differentiation itself is not difficult in here. If you're used to doing the chain rule on exponential functions, um, it's just a matter of slowly building up from doing your differentiation to separately working out what's the left-hand side and then starting to work on that right-hand side and showing that they're the same. And of course, it's fine to do it the other way around. I'm going to do the other two differentiation questions later on today. Um, the one about the triangle, and then the one that you all really want me to do, which is the helicopter one. Okay, um, spoiler for the helicopter question. Um, actually, no, no spoilers for the helicopter question. 